Hi, this is Jim with uh, uh, CableSupply.com, and today we're going to talk about um, making Cat6 patch cords. Now, one of the things you have to remember is patch cords these days, even Cat6, are very, very inexpensive. So it may not be wise to make your own. But anyway, if you're looking here, um, you know you can buy these boots uh, from uh, our uh, website. You just slide them over the cable, and we're using Cat6 cable, uh, solid cable, not stranded. Then you can make patch cords out of solid cable. And then we're using a cable or scissors, going to strip it. Now one of the first things you want to do is you want to take that little string that they give you, and you want to strip it back an inch or two. And the reason you do that is when you're cutting off the shielding, you, you tend to nick uh, the cable itself and uh, so you want to pull out as much as is necessary uh, so you can actually cut the portions that you nick. Now you're working with clean cable uh, that you don't have to worry about whether the cable has been nicked uh, uh, or whether it's exposed and when you nick a cable sometimes what happens is it will break on you later on. Now, a little plastic thing I just cut off, that that's, uh, keeps the cable separate. That uh, helps with the, uh, the quality of the signal that you need at, at CAT6 uh, speeds. And also, if you notice, if you're familiar with cable, if you're dealing with CAT3 or uh, compared to CAT6, you notice that CAT6 is a lot tighter twist in each of the pairs. So one of the first things you want to do is you want to separate out the pairs. And as you separate out the pairs, you want to get them lined up according to the color code that you need for your uh, uh, crimper. And so that's what it looks like right there. And um, then you want to get your crimper or your uh, uh, mod plugs. Before you get your mod plugs, just get it as straight as possible. Whether you're doing an A or a B setup, it doesn't really uh, affect it as long as you do the same uh, pinout at each end of your patch cord. You slide on the, the wires as far in as you possibly can get them. Even if you can get the shielding in there, I mean the, uh, the outer uh, covering in there. When you crimp it down, it will crimp down on the outer covering. But you want to push it in as far as possible. And I'm using a uh, amp ratcheting um, crimper. You don't necessarily have to use amp. There's plenty of good ones out there. This is a pretty old crimper. I've had it for about 20 years now. And there you go. Nice and solid in there. You're going to push the, uh, the boot, bubble boot, and strain relief up as close as I possibly can to the end. And uh, that's how you would do it. Of course, obviously, you would do it on both sides. Uh, so you have an RJ45 mod plug on each end. You cut it to the length that you need. As long as the pinout is exactly the same, you'll have a straight through cable. It will work. And it will work for many years. And it's very inexpensive. And uh, thank you for watching our video. Uh, please visit our website at www.cablesupply.com. Thank you.